OpenAI just announced that their AI voice assistant is now available through an API. It's called the Realtime API, and I'll show you how to use it to integrate human sounding two-way conversations into your custom application. We're gonna build an app where Airbnb guests can have a real-time conversation with an AI assistant that has in-depth knowledge of the property, including things like Wi-Fi passwords, where their water shutoffs are, and even host recommendations for restaurants. I'm really impressed with the end result, so stick around to the end and I'll show you that. So first of all, OpenAI actually released this sample application. It's called the OpenAI Real-Time Console and it builds on top of the Real-Time API. So it's a really good reference. And that's what I'm gonna use as my starting point for this application. But I'll leave a link to this GitHub in the description of the video so you can try it out for yourself. So let's start with the basics of how to use and start up this API. And then as I build, I'll show you some more of the advanced options of the Real-Time API. So the first thing is you just have to import the Real-Time client. This comes from OpenAI's Real-Time API beta. Next, you have to instantiate the Real-Time client and there's a couple of ways you can do it. In this code, it's got a way you can set up a local relay server, which is the best way to do it, the proper way to do it. But if you just want the quick and dirty, you can just set this dangerously allow API key in browser to true. And that allows you to store the API key in your browser's local storage and just use that. So that's what we'll do for now. So now that we have that client, we can start using the update session method to update some of the key values here to initialize it. So the first one is we want to give this session some instructions about what the AI is. We're just going to give it the AI assistant intro. We're going to say aloha and welcome to Pacific Horizon Condo. I'm Kay, your AI concierge, ask me anything. You also have to set the input audio transcription and you, the model you want to use is Whisper One, as well as give it the AI a voice. So there's different ones you can choose. I'm going to choose Shimmer here. And then from there, we have to set up how it handles real-time events. So you do that with the client.on method. This is a little bit more complicated than some of the AI APIs you've probably used in the past, which is text-based. And that's because in this situation, we need to allow for real-time two-way communication between the client like in this case, the web browser and the OpenAI servers. And so the way OpenAI did this was to use a WebSocket implementation. What that basically means is it keeps a connection open between the session and OpenAI servers, enabling instant data transfer in both directions without the need to constantly establish a new connection. And then it relays messages back and forth between the browser and OpenAI. And that's what you're seeing here. But for your implementation, you can really just take this code and copy and paste it. With those basics in place, let's just see how it works. So first thing you have to do is put in your API key. So I've already got mine in here. Just one word of caution though, using the real-time API is quite expensive. I'll talk about that a bit later, but just set your limits at OpenAI is fairly low when you're first trying it out. Okay, let's hit connect and see if the initialization works. Aloha, how can I assist you today at Pacific Horizon? Okay, it got cut off, but it sounds pretty good for a start. Now you notice at the bottom here is we have manual and VAD. And the real-time API actually has two modes. So manual just means you manually push to talk and then wait for the response. Kind of like a walkie-talkie would work. When you're pressing the button, you're talking, and when you're not, you're waiting for the response to come back. The more advanced one is VAD, which is, which is voice activity detection. So this is more like a natural communication with another human where you're waiting for pauses for the other person and then you start talking. And then we set that in the API in this function here, change turn and type. Again, it's a client.update session. And now we say turn detection, type equals server VAD, so voice activity detection. So with the conversation type set, the last piece of the puzzle really is just getting the audio from the microphone and then playing the output audio from the AI to your computer. And inside this GitHub package, they give you some really nice utility functions, a wave recorder and a wave stream player. And so really what this does is takes away all the logic around connecting to the microphone. So you can just use the wave recorder.begin and then the wave stream player.connect. And then from there, we just kick off the conversation with a send user message content. And again, this is on the real-time client library. With all that in place, I think we're ready to give it some more advanced instructions on what it's supposed to do as an AI. So I'm gonna paste in all the information about this Airbnb, Pacific Horizon Condo. So everything from the address, square footage, Wi-Fi, condo systems such as circuit breakers, thermostats, emergency information, local recommendations, all the rules in the building, even about the parking spots. Basically, it's a big brain dump of all the information the host gets asked on a regular basis. So let's try it out. So we'll start with manual mode here. So we'll say connect. Aloha and welcome to Pacific Horizon Condo. I'm Kai, your AI concierge. How can I assist you today? Hey Kai, what's the Wi-Fi password? The Wi-Fi password is Aloha123 with a capital A. Happy surfing. So that worked perfectly, but you see there you had to press down the press to talk button. If we switch the mode to VAD, 
voice activity detection. Now I was gonna tell the API, just have a normal conversation with me. So let's try that out. Aloha, welcome. How can I assist you today? Hey, um, I got a big flood in this place. I need to turn off the water. I'm sorry to hear about the flood. To turn off the water, locate the main water shutoff in the hallway closet behind the beach towels. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to contact the property manager, Leilani Kahale, at 808-555-6789. Okay, I got the water shut off, but I need a beer now. Just tell me where I can get a good beer near here. For a great craft beer, head over to Island Brew Coffee House. It's about a 15-minute drive from here, located at 1137 11th Ave. They have a great selection of local brews. Enjoy. All right, thanks so much. Have a good night. You're welcome. Enjoy your evening. I'm really impressed with the real-time API. I find the conversations feel really natural, and the AI does a really good job of giving you concise information. If I was staying at an Airbnb, I'd actually find this very useful, especially if they put it into WhatsApp or something where you could just call it and just have a conversation with it. Especially things around like the host recommendation for restaurants. I always like that kind of stuff, but you don't always want to bug the host with it. And as I've been playing around with it for the last couple of days, I really see how big a deal this is going to be. Just think of all the customer service calls that go on every single day and how this could replace a lot of that. Now it is still in beta, so it's not perfect yet. And a few drawbacks are, I've noticed sometimes towards the end of sentences, it does cut off a little bit. So that's something they have to improve a bit. But the biggest one right now is really the cost. It is very expensive to use. So right now, like that brief conversation you just heard, cost about 25 cents, which if you're trying to scale the application is not reasonable, it's gonna to be too expensive. But OpenAI tends to reduce prices on their APIs quite dramatically over time. So I say once this gets more established, you're gonna see much cheaper options available. Let me know if you like this video, if you want me to go more in depth with the real-time API. And make sure you subscribe if you wanna see content like this going forward. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.